Well, as the program progresses tonight, we will dive deep into the Channel 4's debacle and dissect it with various views. But there's this question that keeps bothering me all the time. Why? Why did Channel 4, despite knowing their star witness, is flimsy and untrustworthy, like a rat that'll do to anything to survive, yet the editorial of the Channel 4 decided to proceed with airing this documentary? Why? The supporters of the former president and patriotic elements in the country were swift to point out that it was to create chaos in a peaceful Sri Lanka. Yes, it could be true. But does that mean that the so-called backers of Channel 4, mainly the LTTE-loving diaspora, wanted chaos in Sri Lanka? Do they have any unfinished business that they couldn't achieve while the whole unrest of last year, the Aragalaya? Doing this to create chaos among the Sinhalese Buddhist and the Catholics is a bit of a reach for me. After all, the Catholic community isn't a violent community and has no history in the recent past of getting onto the streets in violence. Besides, they would see manipulation from a mile away, but maybe not uh, from forces within their community. The best example is what we saw soon after the Easter Sunday massacre. Despite the blood of the Catholics were boiling, they exercised caution and extreme care and did everything to ensure there would not be bloodshed in this country. So what could be the real reason Channel 4, which has a track record of being anti-Rajpaksa, would come after another Rajpaksa who basically was uh, sipping tea at home without any power in this country's governing system? This is where we need to learn from and remember the past. As Sri Lankans, our remarkable ability to forget the good, the bad and the ugly has cost us in many ways. We need to remember the lessons of the past and make sure that we don't repeat them. Now, as I dive deep into this thought process, I asked what would be so crucial that Channel 4, aka the LTTE diaspora, would be interested in. Is it the full implementation of the 13th Amendment? Is it going back to reviving the failed aspirations of their terrorist leader? That what could it be? By next year, this time, Sri Lanka will be heading for another presidential election. We think the usual horses will run the race for the top job. Incumbent President uh, Ryan Wickremesinghe might throw his hat in the ring if he knows he can win for sure. Opposition leader Sanjit Premadasa has already said yes. Former President Maitrapala Sirisena wants to return for a second term. Andrew Kumar Disanayake from the NPP looks like he would run again. While many candidates are getting uh, the spotlight, the only component that is missing is a common enemy. Let me explain. Now, in 2015, the common enemy was incumbent President Mahindra Rajapaksa. The chant that fueled the hatred was go golden horses, corruption and accountability to the Rajapaksas. That got President Maitrapala Silasena and the Yahapalnya joke over the finish line. In 2019, well, the common enemy was the Yahapalnya. And the chant that fueled the hatred against it was the lack of security, a lawless country, and a disciplined society. That got President Gotabe Rajapaksa over the finish line as well. It's not just here in Sri Lanka, but even around the world, this same thing happens. In, uh, in 2016 US presidential election, it was the chant, lock her up. And the common enemy was Hillary Clinton. In 2019, it was hating Trump. So for 2024, we here in Sri Lanka have yet to have a common enemy that would fuel the hatred of the society to push them to vote in the way they are required for a particular society or a party. Despite the economy being the dominating factor in the 2024 election cycle, no candidate can accuse this or that against a single other candidate as every politician running for the part of the president is part of the economic problem as well. Fueling hate against President Gotabe Rajapaksa is not that hard. After all, he failed his presidency. Why not also add some fake allegations of a mastermind of the Easter Sunday massacre into the account to get all forces against this country to rally in their hatred of the Rajapaksas? Very soon, we will know which candidate will rise through the ranks promising accountability for the Easter Sunday massacre. And at that time, you will see the real agenda of this mockumentary. Back in 2019, soon after the Easter Sunday massacre, there was an individual who alerted the whole nation to the impending tactic. He said, in the end, 
the forces against this nation will put the blame on an innocent Sinhalese Buddhist. Lanka Deepa Patre, Didas Dahanami, Maimasa, Dolosweni, Iridaki and Adatamin, Baharakara, Anduak, Hadi Hadima, Ganathi and Hondam, Visdumai Kela, Baharakara, Anduak, Hadima, Ganathi and Hondam, Visdumai Kela, Adata Nogalepin, Meet a Vasaraka Tehapeti, Api Sandahankara Pukisiam Karanawa, Ungi, Womanawa Peter, Mavenakota, Palakar Latino. Film Marshal Sarat Fonseca Mahatmya. Sadhan Karanoa, make a Madhivedin to Hondra Matakai. Etuma Avasta Tunaka Boma Barakar Lakiwa Aurudu Dekakwat Yanama may Prasni Varakarandakir. A Etuma may keep Otama Ekamadi Ekamidiakir. Make me Anduit in a Barapata Womanama Kumak the Me Antarwara Palanaya. Aragane Ema Sandha Antarvara Andua Me Antarvara Andua Me Interim Government Keneka Loki Mibandu Avasta Vishin Trusta Biak Ethikarala A Trusta being Pida with a Patech Samajeta Anit Batahira Rajan to Atapuan Tati Hekia Vardane Karaganima Sandha Hatamai Me Antarvara Palanakrame Pavichikarani එතකොට අන්න ඒ ක්‍රමය ලංකාව තරම් ඇවිල්ලා අන්තර්ජාතිකයට වෙනත් විදිහකින් කියනවා නම් බටහිර ඇමරිකාව ඇතුළු බටහිර රටවල් වලට ලංකාවට පාලනයට මැදිහත් වීමට අවස්ථාවක් සලසා ගැනීම මේ හරහා සිද්ධ වෙනවා අපි කවුරුත් දන්නා කාරණාවක් මේ සම්බන්ධයෙන් ඕනේ තරම් වාර්තා තියෙනවා මේ වහබ් වාදී කියන එක නිර්මාණය කරන්නේ බටහිරි Batahira, Visheshing, Ingalante, Pramukha, Ratawal, Indiavi, Hindun Samaga, Muslim, Islam, Baktikian, Getim at a Salaswim Sandaha Tamai, Wahabwa, the Aram Bagrani, Eka Passi, Saudi Arabia, or the Medaberadi Katagia, Abei, Wahabwa, the Haraha, Own, Buho Ratawal Pramania, Libya, Syria, Eva Game, Iraq, Mibadu Ratawal, Vinashe, Patkaran at මෙතන තියෙන බරපතලම දේ තමයි මේ වන විට මේකේ පහර දුන්නෙත් ඉස්ලාම් අන්තවාදීන් පහර කෑවේ කතෝලිකයින් හැබැයි ඒ වුණාට බෞද්ධයන් මේ හරහා කුපිත කරවා ගැනීමේ අවශ්‍යතාවක් විවිධ විවිධ අයගේ කතා බහ වලින් පේන්න තියෙනවා If only we had listened to the venerable Thero back then. Oh,